So if you spend a lot of time looking at a screen, doing design, especially if you're looking at a screen in a darkened environment, uh, you might get a little bit of eye strain from looking at Vectorworks because the default is for very bright white or off-white background. And it's, it's just not conducive for long hours of staring at your screen. Uh, you might have noticed that uh, some operating systems even recently are finally announcing dark modes, uh, which is awesome. Looking forward to seeing that on my handheld devices as well. But with Vectorworks, uh, for quite a few years now, we've been able to change the background to make it look more like an AutoCAD environment. And that's pretty helpful when you have all of the classification of your uh, imported AutoCAD layers that are now Vectorworks classes. There's a lot of um, colors assigned to these this line work, and we're going to see that in a lot more contrast if we have a black background. How do we do that in Vectorworks? Um, there's a lot of options in the toolbar, and you'll see that I might have a variety of them open and selected other than um, what you do currently, and you might have some open that I don't hear. Uh, but these are toggle buttons, and one toggle button that's really my favorite, a little bit annoying to get to this um, shortcut if you have the auto hide palettes, um, but if you just ever so gingerly get really close to that arrow, well, that's a bit of a trick to get in there. Um, but try it a couple times, you get to that little black arrow there that's pointing uh, to the right of your screen. If you click on that, these are the, uh, you're able to turn off and on the different toggle switches within your toolbar. And what we're looking for is the black background. So if we look down, I think it's probably, yeah, it looks like the fourth option on the list. I've got a little check mark next to black background. So if you don't have a check mark there, go ahead and check that. So you'll check that, nothing happens yet. Uh, you're just basically putting this toggle button on your toolbar. And the black background is this one. It has a little white square and a little black square, and then the little arrow is pointing back and forth. So it means you can switch that. And if you tap that, boom, there you go. You are in dark mode in Vectorworks. And if you have a lot of your palettes kind of minimized and uh, auto hide, and um, uh, you've removed your file tabs from Vectorworks, if you've kind of maximized your screen real estate, like we've talked about in the past, then you're going to see much more of a dark mode or a black background environment. Unfortunately, yes, the menu toolbars and even your palettes are still kind of this grayish color in Vectorworks. And uh, to my knowledge yet, uh, they haven't announced any intentions for dark mode, but maybe in the next version, that would be pretty cool. Uh, but yep, you've got all your same tool palettes here in the bright white. But if you spend your time working in a CAD environment like this, and you scroll in, it's a pretty good sized DWG file, um, and there's not a lot of organization on some levels, but anyway, I won't gripe about that at this moment. Um, but if you if you zoom in at some points, then you're gonna see that there are, um, you're able to see that information of those uh, classified, of that classified information, um, it's now a, a little bit more uh, in contrast. So a little bit easier on the eyes and easier to work with. And if you're looking for, you know, the structure of the building and you know it's magenta, it's a lot easier um, to find on this black background. So there you go. Have fun with that. Enjoy the dark mode. And um, we'll see you in the next video.